Oh man, let me log into this crazy Keela's life on YouTube, man. See what all the bugs is about. Become a lunatic like all these other people. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. Like, comment, subscribe, become a lunatic. Over to M, my mom. Well, over M. Amaya's going to school. Kendrick going to my mom's house because they have to have my surgery. What do you mean? You, you can't see what? You can't see? Is that better? You can see a seatbelt now? Your zipper? Yeah. Okay, babe, you always have a problem doing your zip, zipper. Just leave it open. Leave it open. Is it? Am I? Oh, Wait till you get to school. No, just pull over. Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. Try to eat. Oh. Um, when they call me back. Kendrick, Kendrick called me back. When they call me back. Huh? When they call me back, my husband took the phone to the car. Yeah. With my purse, so I didn't get them vlog, but I haven't been feeling up to it. Oh, Kendrick, please. Uh, I hurt, my head hurt, my nose hurt, my face hurt, my eyes hurt, my teeth hurt, everything hurt, and we already changed Amaya, please, we had to change this, we just changed it just a little while ago, but that, that, it was our second time changing it. When I woke up out of surgery, I had one on. And we changed it the first time. We only changed it twice, right? Huh? We changed it twice, right? My teeth hurt. So bad. All up here and down here. It just hurt. I'm eating something because I'm taking medication. I need to eat medication. But I feel so nauseous. Feel horrible. Okay. My husband about to get a kid a bear. So the floor. But I'm tired. Yeah, I'm in pain. And today has been a horrible day for me. For a lot of reasons. But the surgery is one of the big reasons. You like it? I almost feel like, like I should it? just suffer with the not breathing stuff because it hurts so bad. Like, my blood pressure was high. And they, they didn't discharge me until our blood pressure went down. They kept giving me medication. But I think the reason my head hurt now is because my blood pressure might be high. My hair hurts so bad. I eat it. And I've been taking a medication for pain. And it's not working. I don't know what to do. Let's go see how his um, meters are doing. Because you can't take so much pain medication. It is making me nauseous. Oh, God, I feel horrible. I'll let y'all a little bit later. But I'll let you know how I feel. But right now, it's horrible. I got the surgery around 10 o'clock. And, um, yeah, it's like 6. 6 something. And I still feel horrible. I keep y'all updated on my progress. This is day one. Hey, y'all. Uh, in the emergency room, as we call the doctor, 
lying after I was lying and they told me to come here. I've been having a lot of bleeding and my pressure is super high. And I'm nauseous and I'm shaking. I don't know y'all. I don't know. I don't know if I'm regretting getting surgeries for the better of me breathing, but now that I'm having all these issues. So, at the hospital, my husband's parking the car, I've already went to the front desk, but this has not been a good experience. But I keep y'all updated. It's only been two hours since he changed his golf. And it ain't even been two hours. I wish I could see what I think it's been like an hour. And it's filled up again. I'm getting weak. This is like an 11 hour wait in here. I wanna cry. I'm trying not to because my pressure are really high. It did come by. I'm walking around and check my pressure, but it ain't said it was high. Like I said. My husband went to go get some tissue. It's pretty bad, y'all. Uh, go open it up. Are you going to do that now? Yeah, you want to take it out? You want to dab it? Oh, God. Told y'all what you look. Oh. Give me some tissue. I think it's dark. It look like it's trying to clot up. This was closed, right? They get it, they get it. Yeah, it was a brand new box. It's just that one nose. That nostril, that's the way it feels. Oh, uh, I wasn't expecting this. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. Did he say I could put some up in there? It's not that nose, it's bleeding right there. I just want to clean it out real good. Well, it is bleeding a little bit. Yeah. Because I know he said he put something in there too. Like, so, you know, he said he put something in there, he take it out. I didn't want to push nothing too hard, you know? Well, don't, don't worry about putting it in there. Just use the gall and put it stop. Jesus, do your fits. up a little bit before we put the car on. Okay. Okay. Is it good? It is good right now. How is it gonna get right now? Let you do that part. And I'll hold it up until you get the tape like you did before. It looked bad because it was coming out crazy early. You know what I mean? Uh huh. It's still right there, but it's not early and it was dripping. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's pushing. So is the brush. Oh, oh. I said, I'm letting you do it. I'm not it, 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 it hurts like the littlest, slightest. They hurts. You can do them all too big. That way it'll stay up there. That look better. Really, that thing is bad. You know what I mean? I'll put the bass on. You don't want to get sick in here. Heck no, not with them kids. You know them kids get sick over here. Sleep like this way. You got a pee? No. Alright. So we got 
to go see it. Wait, so go. It's been less than an hour since I changed your calls. My husband said it's coming through. It is. We are on our way to uh, another hospital because they haven't did anything. And I don't want to have a stroke waiting for these people. Uh, we on our way. He's went to go get the car. Eh. Um, we're gonna go. So I'll keep y'all updated as best I can. And I'll let y'all later. Hey y'all, so I've been in the hospital for some hours now. Let me just say it's a little bit at the foot where they could have discharged me with love. Okay, babe. With some blood pressure medicine, some nose spray, and um, I don't know. I still have a slight headache. My nose is feeling better. My teeth are feeling better. But this headache has not gone anywhere. I don't know what's going on. My blood pressure has dropped. Let me see. I get a good way. I'm trying to see if I can see it. It's up there. Let me see. 130 over 91. Because they gave me some blood pressure medicine. They gave me stuff for pain. And they didn't do anything for my headache. So, and my pressure had dropped some, but it still was too high. So, they decided to give me the blood pressure right to see what would happen. And that did the trick. So, look right now, let me take some blood pressure medicine until, you know, I don't know, I'm just tired. Y'all, my head, my eyes still hurt, my head still hurt. I just wanna go home at this point. There's a lot going on. Oh, man. My vlog, all I had to do was upload it. I didn't have a chance to upload it because I didn't plan. I did, like, you know, make, make the, um, what is it called? The, I can't remember. My head hurt. The thumbnail. And it's ready just to be uploaded. I mean, I did that on Sunday. I know people are gonna have a busy, busy day on Monday. Didn't think it was gonna be as busy as it is, but nevertheless, I upload it tomorrow sometime. And then um, I will be vlogging probably still tomorrow. If y'all can be up there on how I'm feeling, um, but I'm gonna take this off right now because I don't want. It. To, you know, but <coughs> it haven't been bleeding this much, which is great. I still bleed for a lot, lot, lot less. But, you know, my eyes are still hurting. My eyes are still hurting. My husband's been so amazing over there. Thanks, babe. He's been so amazing over there, so I appreciate him. You dropped something? Yeah. Oh. But, but I finally felt like I had to do a bowel movement. I'm in a freaking hospital and I gotta take a BM now. But let me go ahead and go. I'm gonna see y'all. I can't say in the morning because it's the morning, but I'm gonna go home and get some of the rest. What do you think I'm gonna do about this headache, though, babe? Do you think it's partly too because I ate nothing really? Yeah. Did the surgery? I don't even know. Okay. And that's what she was saying. She said, Well, I'm saying my headache is they work on my nose and it's probably the sinuses and stuff. Blocked up, so it's causing a headache because it is going to be swollen. Yeah, my husband said my nose is like a little bruise. 
it is. That's a little bit right there. But I expected some bruising. Actually, more bruising than I actually got. So, then wear my retainer. So, once I get home and brush my teeth and stuff, I can put my retainer in. I'll holler at y'all later. Good morning, y'all. Y'all can see my eyes are still red. My head still hurts. I don't know why my lips to me look kind of purplish. They look purplish to y'all. Look nice and full, I tell you that. Like I got But y'all see I'm getting like this dark I think the darkness is from me get my nose done. I thought my whole eyes was gonna be black. But it's I know it's not black anymore on top of it. And um stop bleeding as much. But uh, my husband made me breakfast. I just got finished eating. There go my baby right there. I know uh, my head is still hurt. He about to go get my medicine. He stayed home. I bet he, I need some um, I need some more um, more water in. I don't like mine this thick. Just bring me a cup of hot water. Did you put uh, butter in it? Uh -huh. okay. You want more butter? Just a little bit butter in it. Just put a little bit of hot butter in the hot, hot water. Yeah. Uh, oh, but. I just feel, um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I just called my doctor. I had an appointment tomorrow for me to get a sonogram for my fibroids because I might have to have surgery for that. I cancel that because I'm not going to be up to it. My husband might be going back to work tomorrow, and even if he don't, I don't feel up to it. And I don't want to get another surgery. I'm just so sick of this. I'm so sick of being in pain. And going through traumatic stuff when I have surgery. Like when I got my tummy tuck, I got my stitch abscess when the stitches was coming out of my body and um, hanging out. <laughs> and I had to drive all the way to Atlanta for them to assess me and look at me. I mean, I did take pictures and send them to them before then, but it just. And then before that, when I had my C section with Fat Man, they wouldn't let me to the hospital because my brush got so high, they thought I had help syndrome. And it's like I'm having complications doing surgery, and I don't want to have to have another surgery because um, if I have to have a surgery for that's a major surgery, like a hysterectomy, and I know they got new ways to do it, but I don't know how my body is going to react because this was supposed to be kind of easy. The doctor said this surgery is easier and less complicated with less, you know, complications. They have a is done because, you know, he said that's more is connected to more. It's just more complications. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'll be fine. <sighs> Y'all, I do feel like my nose will look a little different. And it might be because it's swollen. Let me let y'all see. Hold on. It looks swollen. It looks huge. Jesus Christ, I should have did that. Oh, I don't know what possessed me to just do that. I'm going to set my phone right here. And I got to get some tissue. Because, honey, I don't know what possessed me to do that. I got blood hanging out. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus be a fetch. And I'm right because my nose is swollen. I just wanted to heal a bit better. It's a lot of dry blood over here. But I'm scared to um I'm scared to um I'm gonna get some of this blood off here because I might I can't my husband I changed my gauze. I'm scared to um wash it because it's so sore. Y'all see how swollen it is? Y'all know my nose is never this big looking. But it's still healing. So it hurts when I put this stuff on there. It is what it is. So I don't know. He's going to go pick up my medicine and get my stuff. I can 
Because of what in my bill. I don't like my mobile as thick as he like his. Um, but I'll holler at y'all in a minute. So let y'all know how I'm feeling a little bit later right now. And it's like 9 something in the morning. We just got home like 5. So, I didn't go to school today because um, everything that's going on. My husband didn't go to work today. But, thank you, babe. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Hey y'all, so I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. I have a headache. Uh, uh just changed my goals again. It's not bleeding as much, but it's still bleeding. Um, uh, hey baby, my kids are acting real needy, real needy. My husband is just cleaning up. My teeth are hurting me out because it's just because I didn't wear my retainer also. Oh, well, yeah, go fill a little camp by you. <clears throat> when I grow up, am I going to get surgery? Well, hope, let's hope not. <laughs> you worry about Bobby? Bobby's going to be fine. Come here. Come here. Bobby's going to be fine. My baby worried about me. It's okay, pumpkin. Mommy's gonna be fine, okay? But yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I see you tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm. Yeah, I'll probably vlog Thursday. Because today is Tuesday. I'll probably work with all That's probably the last day vlogging about this. It's gonna be Thursday when, they, when I have my appointment. And they remove the stents out of my nose. Um, and y'all can see what everything is looking like. But yeah. I holla at y'all later. I want to go to bed. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, I'm being constipated. Cause <coughs> go to your room then. I'm constipated because I haven't been drinking enough water. And I haven't been moving a lot because they don't want you to be doing too much. They, um, I can't exercise. I can't lift weights. I can't do what I usually do. Which means I'm all, I'm all thrown out of sorts for my regular schedule but what can I do is nothing I can do but try to heal from this surgery and I'll get back into my routine once I'm done healing but I have to eat I can't fast because I have to eat to take my medicine and I think I need to take my um, my ex daddy do I need to take my antibiotic now ex daddy do I need to take my antibiotic now I think I need to take my antibiotic that my lip chain feel kind of swollen but <laughs> let me go ahead and take this antibiotic. At eight thirty, okay. But let me go ahead and like I said, I'm just huh. Oh. And I've been spitting the blood because y'all know. The drip goes to the back. And so when I spit it out, it's usually chunks of blood clots. So, I mean, we got to do is something I can do, but what get it out. What did the doctor say when you were there? The doctor said I got to come see him on Thursday, baby. Y'all know that's just so worried. Well, Grandma's going to watch y'all Thursday. My husband's going to be home with me tomorrow. What? No, she's going to pick you up from school. And then once I finish my uh, appointment on Thursday. The day after tomorrow. Look at my son. My babies be really worried about me. They love their mama. Don't y'all? Yeah, we worry. I know. But I'm going to be fine. She said, when you going to pick that thing off your nose, mommy? Mm. When your nose going to stop bleeding, mommy? Soon. <laughs> But yeah, I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. I got my surgery on Monday. Just got finished eating some Chick fil A. My husband got me for breakfast. I woke up this morning with a massive headache. Checked my blood pressure. It wasn't high enough for me to take the blood pressure medicine, but it was high. It was like 150, 150 over. 
94. They didn't want me to take it was 150 over 94. They don't want me to take the blood pressure medicine unless it's 160 over 95. So um I did take Tylenol and Oxy to help with the headache that I had. And I should probably take my pressure now and see what it is now because it doesn't hurt as bad. My head doesn't hurt as bad. I'm about to use my blood pressure cuff. Well, it's not mine. It's my mama's. Hold on. With the little bag. How much check my pressure? I going to make sure I stay on top of this. But I had to eat something. I'm going to tell y'all. Hold on. I'll tell y'all this. I was taking Oxy. You get nauseous if you don't eat. And I wasn't really hungry, but I took it and I was feeling nauseous and you shouldn't take medicine without um, eating because it messes up your stomach lining and it makes you feel sick. So I'm using this. A refresher. I need to get one of these. I've been splitting up blood clots also. Like, it's actually a good blood pressure. It's 124 over 85. So it's not bad. That's good. It's probably why my head is feeling better now. So, I spit. I feel like I got to spit down. I've been spitting a lot um, of blood clots. My nose is not bleeding as much, but I'm still like. I have a spit bag. <coughs> you can't blow your nose. <coughs> like, as you can see, it's a bunch of blood in here. This was not as easy as I thought it was going to be, y'all. Very difficult. Very difficult. But it is what it is. And I'm doing it right now. I have to have a slight headache. I'm going to start watching this show, The Fall of whatever it is called. What is it on Netflix? I've seen it. Actually, Spider-Man is on now because Fat Man wanted to watch that. But I'm out to... Since he's downstairs watching Revo now, I'm going to change to my Netflix thing. And I'm going to watch The Fall of... What is something that's on Netflix? I've seen it. It's The Fall of Something. I hope it come up. The Fall... I don't see popular trending now. I think it's on trending now. I don't know where it's at. No, my head is hurting, y'all. I don't even know how I'm going to watch this because, like, it's like this. The headache is ridiculous. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Let me go ahead and search. It's fall something. Let me see. But. The headaches is ridiculous, and I think it's because my sinuses are getting clogged with all this blood. And there it is, the fall of Usher House. A house Usher. The fall of the house of Usher. And I heard that was a good show, and I'm about to start watching it. But my head is killing me, y'all. Y'all know I took my nails off. I had to take them off for surgery. But I, my head is killing me. Like, why my arms are so teeny? Y'all see how teeny my arms? I ain't been eating. I wonder if I'm losing too much weight. I ain't been exercising. It's just been a hard, hard time. But I'll get y'all, keep y'all updated, and let y'all know how I'm feeling later on today. And then I'll see y'all tomorrow doing my doctor's appointment. Hello. Don't say one more minute. You hear these kids early this morning. Um, yeah, today is the day I go to my doctor's appointment later on this afternoon.
But I can say later on this at the end of what it says. My point is at 140. So my mom's gonna have to pick a buyer up. She's gonna keep that man for me. But um, I got this on because my nose is leaking, not blood, but it was leaking like, um, like a lot of snot with, like, I don't wanna say it was leaking snot with like blood in it, but not like a lot of blood. And it was like slimy, I don't know, it's just weird. Um, because I can't blow it, so it just seemed like slimy snot. I don't know. So, because he told me I'm not allowed to blow my nose. So, that's why I put this on here, because I don't want my nose leaking, leaking out like that. So, I'm feeling better today. Um, I do have a slight headache, but I'm fine. I'm on my way to take a bite of school. There will fix to be a fat man some breakfast, and I'm going to kind of relax. Um, Hopefully, by next week, I can start back at the gym. Hopefully. But if not, you know, I don't know. But I, I like exercising, y'all. Y'all know I like I haven't been eating like I usually eat. I haven't been hungry. But, you know, I don't want to lose my muscle mass because the way I'm not exercising, honey, I feel like my muscle mass is just going to be gone. But... So Monday was the first day. Today is day four. Cause Tuesday was the second. Wednesday was the third. Today is Thursday. And they supposed to be taking the stents out my nose. I will be taking you guys along with me there. But I'm just letting y'all know how I feel this morning. I feel pretty decent this morning. Not a hundred percent, but almost there. Maybe like eighty-five percent. So let's um, see. It's hard for me to chew food, though. I'm going to tell y'all that. My teeth are still kind of feeling weird. Kind of, like, sore. But not sore. Like, not bad as they were. They were hurting before. They're just a little sore now. But, you um, know, it's kind of hard for me to chew because I don't know if that's a stint I'm feeling in my nose when I chew. But, you know, your face is moving around. And I can actually feel something in my nose. I don't know. It's weird. So, it makes it a little uncomfortable to eat sometimes. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to cook tonight. My husband was saying, just cook something. He don't want me on my feet too much. So, just can't cook something quick. So, I might just do that. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do because I'm not really that hungry. Uh, but, I am going to make some breakfast this morning. I mean, I'm hungry for breakfast because I know I have to take my medication at um, 8.30 and I'm not going to take it no more because I got a doctor's appointment. You can't really drive with that medication but it'll be wore off by the time I am. Um, I have to go to my doctor's appointment so um, they going to trash truck it away. But I keep you guys updated on uh, my recovery and my, to see y'all at my doctor's appointment. Yeah, I forgot to bring my tripod but I am at the doctor's office for my follow up Is it? Um, my nose to me looks very swollen. Like, my nose is never this huge. But, we will, I don't know, see what the doctor had to say when we get back there. I am actually in the room, and they called me back, like, minutes after I got sit down. They called me back. He's going to take the stents out. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to pop this phone up at so y'all can see the footage. Because I forgot to bring my, um, the, and I know I'm not going to be the hold it while he's taking the stents out because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to split so whatever they call them. I'm not going to be able to hold the camera because, honey, <laughs> I'm just not gonna be able to hold the camera and do that because I'll be all scared or nervous and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all see what the room looks like right now. Yeah, just a regular old waiting room. <laughs> um you have to come in here and do what you gotta do so I can go home. Hopefully, I can get there. <coughs> I can get home before Mama get Amaya that way. 
She could just drop Amaya and Kindred off to the house. I don't have to drive to her house. I see. Okay, y'all. Um, he took the stents out. You still see dried up blood. He cleaned it out. I can breathe a lot more, but the only thing I have to come back. I have to come back for um. And that tape, you see that got red spot right here. That tape that I had on my face kind of burnt my face right here a little bit. It was, you know, when you take it off, it kind of hurt a little bit. But my nose, I feel like it's still swollen. I do have to go and um, for a three more week um, post-op appointment for them to look at it again. And um, I do have to get a neti pot. <laughs> And then he thought for I could clean my nose out. And um, they said, well, they want me to do that for the next 30 days, every day. Clean my nose out with the Neti Pot. And so, this right here is really irritating me. It burns right here from the tape. So, um, they took the stents out. It didn't hurt, but it was very uncomfortable. And then he it stuck this thing all the way in the back of my nose to clean all the blood out which is good, but, and I do feel like I'm getting more air, like I can breathe better, but, um, yeah, I know it's weird. Um, you can see all the dried up blood from right here. I wish he could have took all it, but he wasn't gonna do all that, I guess. I guess I could, he says, be real gentle. He said, I can't, I can blow my nose, but don't blow it too hard. I gotta be gentle. I still gotta be gentle with my nose. So, I'm sorry I'm doing this. It's like dried up scab, blood, whatever. I don't know what it is. See, dried up blood. Let me answer that, that's my daughter. Hey y'all, so I'm ending this vlog for my surgery i do have a follow-up appointment like i said in three weeks i will be doing a follow-up during that appointment to let y'all know how i'm doing um but other than that um yeah I, my skin is irritated you see right here from that tape on my face it didn't irritate on this side only on this side it's irritating it's burning a little bit as i wash my face and <coughs> And I've been coughing and spitting up like hard little blood clots. And it's like choking me. I don't know if it's because it's hard when I like suck and pull and spit. It's like I'm literally choking to get it out. It's, it's crazy. But um, my nose still look kind of swollen, if y'all notice that. But my nostrils are symmetrical. They're bigger to me. But they're symmetrical because this one used to be smaller than this one. And I don't know if it's because of the the what's it called the septum being crooked but one was smaller than the other one but now they're symmetrical as you can see they're the same hey hey <laughs> so yeah um well like comment subscribe hit that notification bell boom and become a lunatic um what else <laughs> I did do my nose wash and I'm going to be doing it every day but I keep y'all updated pace. say peace say peace we holler at y'all later <laughs>